Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolotech. We're going to take a look at the Neo Hybrid 2 EX series champagne gold case for iPhone 4. This is from Cretouch.com and they were nice enough to send this along and I thought we'd take a look at it. So this is the packaging, very nice. It looks like a bumper case with like a champagne color on it. Nice packaging. Let's see if we can open this up here and take a look at what we have. There we go. So here is the case itself, or the bumper really. The bumper is plastic. Oh, it looks like it has a couple layers too. So you have a rubber layer and then a plastic layer over it with your buttons in here. Buttons are molded. Instead of being metal, uh, like the iPhone's bumper, they're actually plastic or rubber. So let's go ahead and see what else we have in here. It does say that it comes with a couple things, a skin. I do like the packaging, it's really nice. And this case is $31.99 from their store. So these are Steinhall Ultra Series skins. So I guess they're thicker, hard coated for scratches. So basically screen protectors, front and back it looks like. So there's the back. Let's see what this is. This is a serial number. And we have a microfiber cloth. So it comes with all of this stuff. Let me go ahead and get my iPhone here. I'm going to take these old skins off and put the new skin on. I have the screen protector on front and back. Didn't do a particularly great job, but this is really about the, the case itself. So I don't know the best way to put this on. This seems like it's, it's pretty tight. Let's try and put the, I guess maybe this rubber piece around first. Go from there, I guess, and we'll see how it fits. There are no instructions included that say the best way to put this on, so it's it's tough because it's th this doesn't stretch. The bumper skin from Apple or the bumper from Apple uh, actually has some give to it, and this one does not, so it's a little bit different. I'm sure it's going to hold it securely, so let me try it this way. Now you would think this would be pretty straightforward given that it it's just a normal case. We've done lots of these type of reviews before. I cannot figure out how to get this thing on. And I don't want to scratch my phone too much, or too much at all. And let's see. There we go kind of clips down in. Let's see. Okay, now we've got this on. That took a moment. It's basically a bumper that's got a champagne gold look to it. We have a nice rubber bumper here on the top that pushes down on your sleep-wake button. You have the cutouts for your microphone. Now this is going to be a little bit of a problem, I think, if you have any larger microphone ends other than the iPhone size. You're not going to be able to get in there with a normal microphone. Uh, on this side, you have a volume up and down rubber bumper there. And then you can get in here to switch your wake, or sleep wake button or vibrate switch rather on and off. On the bottom, we have our dock connector. We can get in there, it looks like. And then we have our microphone and speaker. A little bit difficult to get this this bumper on and I, I'm not sure I like it that much just because of this piece here. You may have to drill that out actually just to get it to be the size of a regular headphone jack. However if you're going to use the Apple headphones or I think even the Beats and, and those uh, smaller headphones actually will fit in here but I'll have to test that out and see uh, just because that's going to be a big uh, disadvantage to some people and uh, may not bother others but again that's the Neo Hybrid 2 case from Cretouch.com. Thanks again for sending this. Uh, the, the skin feels real nice on here as far as the, the bumper goes. It, it definitely is going to pr protect it with drop protection because it's got this rubber lining. Uh, but it does make me a little bit concerned with that headphone jack. Otherwise though I think it's a nice little, nice little bumper to add on here and keeps the surface nice and clean and comes with the skin for either side so you shouldn't be getting any scratches on your device. 
If you have any questions or you've used their skins before and their cases, please let me know and comment below and let me know what you think. This is Aaron. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.